Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien and we're down here in West Palm Beach, Florida and we're going to be showing you another great boat by Marine Connection. It is a 2007 Seafox 287 center console and it's powered with a pair of Mercury 225 four-stroke motors. Our service department has done a quick overview of the engines and everything has checked out fine. Um, a little later on after we do the uh, top side of the boat, we are going to take you out and uh, take the boat out for a quick spin show you how it runs. So we'll start on the back of the boat, work our way forward and then uh, do a quick spin like I said. Starting at the transom on either side, notice that we have two large platforms here. Um, easy access to uh, do some diving and whatnot. And if you notice on the front of the port side, sorry, the starboard side, right now we have the insert uh, backrest with the cushion on it. If you look over here towards the starboard side, I've removed it. And those are conveniently stored over here just behind the transom. So it gives you easy access on and off the boat. So for those of you who like to do a lot of snorkeling and diving, and even those of you who like catching big fish, you can easily get them into the boat no problem. Um, over on the port side, we have a recessed boarding ladder that's stuck into the transom. That extends out, folds down, and has a three-step ladder. And then we have a grab rail for uh, more easy access on the boat. At the center of our splash well, access down into the bilge area. Uh, you can access your pumps and whatnot, sea cocks, etc. And if I walk into the uh, cockpit, notice that we have a very large uh, uh, fishing platform back here. Uh, for those of you who like taking out several people on the boat to go fishing, plenty of room. You're not going to be bumping into one another. And then, like I mentioned before, we do have two aft rear jump seats, okay, with their backrest. At the center of the transom, large 50-gallon live well. It is a recirculating live well. Now, top side gunnels. We have four mounted rod holders, okay? Then directly below that, we have some combing bolsters, and then we have our undergunnel rod storage with your tow rails down below. Gives you a little more stability. On either corner of the back of the boat, this boat is equipped with a, a self bailing cockpit, and the drains are both located back at either corner. And then underneath the gunnels on either side, we have the raw water wash down on the port side, and we have the fresh water wash down over on the starboard side of the boat. Coming up to midship, Leaning post, nice backrest, four rod rocket launcher, and as you can see, we do have the cooler down here with its chocks. Now, on the deck, on either side, starboard and port side, we have two large fish boxes, and they are equipped with macerator pumps, and they are operational at this time. You can definitely fit some big fish down in there. Coming up towards the helm, there is a tilt wheel, your ignition switches, and then you have your uh, toggle switch for your windlass. This boat is equipped with a windlass. And then you also have your remote for your, your spotlight that's mounted up on a T-top. T-top, as you can see, is a oversized T-top, give you plenty of shade and whatnot. You do have some taco outriggers, the grand stem outriggers, and you can see those up there. T-top, the aluminum's in good condition, a little bit of pitting, but overall it's, it's in great shape. The canvas is in good condition. And then we also have a front spreader light, two rear spreader lights, and then four rod rocket launcher across the top. Back to the helm, we have a compass that's mounted directly at the center of the helm, so if you want to get a good heading on a long distance trip, you can. We have our display of gauges. Now, we do have a, this uh, plexiglass here for uh, protect your, your electronics and whatnot from the elements. And then we have our gauges over to the left, RPMs, miles per hour, and then your fuel tank and voltmeters. One thing I forgot to mention was that you do have dual batteries on this boat with the switch. They're located behind the rear starboard jump seat. And then you do have two access doors back there. If my cameraman could point back to real quick on either side to give you access, a little additional access down to your pumps and bales and whatnot. Back to the helm. Uh, the boat is equipped with the Hummingbird Matrix 97 GPS fish finder. We have two hour meters on the boat. Now, we pulled the hours on the motor with the computer. It has 294 hours. These must have been installed after the fact, after the boat was delivered, and they're showing 251 and 250. So I would go by the hours off the computer on the motor, 294, and that's going to be on the listing. Lenko trim tabs, and then we do have a VHF radio as well. Now, off to the right of the throttles, we do have our accessory switches for your uh, nav lights, bilge pump, raw water wash down, fresh water wash down, and uh, your horn. Two cup holders uh, conveniently located to the right of the throttles. And then, if you look on either side, just below, we have two speakers. The boat is equipped with a stereo system. And then we have two additional speakers further up. Notice the height of the gunnels. Uh, very safe boat for those of you like going offshore and going into some rough stuff. 
definitely going to be a safe boat, very high free, well, not to has a uh, high free board on it. And as I walk up towards the bow area, we have a nice uh, low profile recessed uh, grab rail all the way around. In front of the console, we have a backrest and a seat cushion, and this gives you access down into the uh, to the front of the console. Underneath the seat, there is some more storage or a cooler box, if you want to call it. And uh, plenty of room down there. It is uh, does it is plumb, so you will drain if you want to rinse it out. But definitely a lot of uh, storage down there. And this actually gives you access into the uh, the console head. You'll see that in the pictures and whatnot that it does push forward. So you can access some stuff you want to put down in here. Um, and then, like I said, there is a lip down there, and you can rinse it out if you wanted to put some uh, ice and some refreshments down there. On either side of the uh, bow, we do have a casting platform, and then we do have two bow cushions on here. Now, underneath each bow cushion, we do have additional storage, okay, and that's plumbed as well. And then coming all the way forward, like I mentioned before, we have a windless anchor. You have access to your rope and line and chain. And then you'll see in the pictures that the boat is equipped with the bow spray dodger. Uh, for those of you who are just going to be anchoring out, want a little shade up here, or just a little more protection from the elements. If it's a rough day, you can put this up and, uh, well, you'll see it in the pictures. Uh, like I mentioned before, over to the uh, port side of the console, you'll see it in the pictures. Uh, you do have an enclosed head and there is a uh, uh, toilet down there. It is a plum toilet, not a porta potty. So that pretty much concludes the top side of the 2007 Fox. Uh, overall condition, gel coat's in good shape uh, for the years. It's, it's, I'd say it's in very good condition. The upholstery's in good shape, does have some staining and whatnot. But uh, other than that, your canvas, T-top, like I mentioned before, all that's in good condition. So motors, you'll see that they run great. Let's fire this puppy up, take it out for a quick spin. Good to go. That concludes the uh, presentation on the 2007 Sea Fox 287. As you can see, folks, the boat just runs great. Um, had it at a cruise at about 4,000 RPMs at about 30, 32, 33 miles an hour, which is pretty much going to be sipping fuel. Um, top end, over 50 mile an hour boat, probably about 54, 55. Uh, engines run great. Uh, rest of the boat's in good condition. Definitely make a good offshore fishing boat. So whoever purchases this boat, good luck to you. God bless and have a great day.